Their sophomore album, The Man Who, topped the British music charts for months, and it's now climbing steadily up the Billboard Top 200. So naturally, Liam Makelum tracked the lads down for a natter about free music, the web, and the rising popularity of the lead singer's mother. There's a fresh new breeze blowing in from Scotland's misty mountains, bringing songs of love and loss and whispering the name Travis. Back home in Britain, an adoring clan of converts have held the Edinburgh Fossum's second album in the upper reaches of the charts since its release. And judging from the reception that greeted them at a recent in-store appearance in San Francisco, Travis Fever has now arrived in America. They're just brilliant. Wonder Brits, excellent. I'm a bit hot and flustered, but I'm fine. They're absolutely fantastic. At a time when many new bands are turning to the internet to get the word out, Travis seemed content to leave that in the hands of the fans and get on with the job of spreading the news the old-fashioned way. I think the most important thing for this record and for any record is the radio. And, um, and we've made it clear to the record company that wherever we go, we want to play, go to at least two radio stations in the city that we're in and go along with the guitars and play songs. It's like the radio is important because it's free, you know, and I think um, music should be. Some guys are putting MP3 files of your stuff up even without your consent. How do you feel about that? I don't care. Fair enough. F music should be free, I don't give a damn. I get this t-shirt, not this one, but there's one that uh, um, it said uh, home taping is killing music. Right, it was an old an old slogan that used to run like when you know your audio cassettes were had their heyday, and um, and that's all the big corporations kind of going, oh man, we're losing all this money. It's not killing music. It's not killing music. Can't kill music. Can't kill music. Music's something that will never die. It's keeping music alive, but it's just it's killing money. <laughs> yeah, this is a good thing. The lads' music first philosophy is borne out on their website. Its sparse design quickly reveals a rich trove of photos, videos, diaries, guitar tabs and lyrics, plus page upon page of correspondence from and with the fans. The bulletin boards are very cool. Tell me about that connection with the fans that you have through the internet. Well, I mean, I'm a great believer and I've always believed this in it from, from this high to now that there's nothing very special about people in bands. Yeah, they're, they're like the best uh, fan-friendly band right now. Going on, the, going on the web and just chatting to kids, you know what I mean? And, and, and you talk about everything. You hardly ever actually talk about music, you know? You know talking about their exams and their brother being a pain and all that. You know? My mum goes on now and she's got more entries than I have on her website. <laughs> messages. <laughs> now that could be a bit of a worry if your mum becomes a little bit more popular than you. I think that's only fair. Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, she had me, so I mean, it's only fair. However, Fran's mum will have to share her limelight with someone who helped get them signed in the beginning, Noel Gallagher of Oasis. You actually helped them get a leg up in the first place, didn't you? Well, I wouldn't like to take too much credit for it. I mean, good bands always get to the top anyway. Travis are here, you know, Travis are in America, and the crowd today showed that, you know, they're going to be big. Well, if Travis aren't at the top quite yet, it's clearly within sight. In any case, these young Scots already have the world at their feet. Travis into America. <laughs> <laughs>